Without failure, you can't have success. You know, you need to feel what failure it is in order to feel what success is. You know, it's a part of it, you know, so we fail all the time. And while we fail, we get better each time we get up. I was born in Ghana, and at the age of five, me and my sister came over to Holland. My mom brought me and my sister over to Holland. I was a, a kind of bad boy, a stubborn, didn't listen. I was so stubborn that my mom sent me back to Ghana because I had problems with justice. So she was like, you know what? Go back to Ghana for one year, go and see how life is over there so you can be humble. And then after one year, if you behave good, you can come back. I got back in Ghana, um, I started lifting weights with um, neighbors. We would make car parts, we would make like bench press of it, you know, with a wooden chair, and then uh, we just lay on it and put some engine parts, and then we just train. A year later, um, I behaved, and my mom let me come back again. I went to the negative side again, uh, got again uh, problems with justice, and this time I had a sentence. I went to like juvenile, like uh, juvenile jail, you know, and I stayed there like, like rehabilitation, you know, like I stayed there like almost more than three years. For like, let's say 10 years, people were telling me do bodybuilding and I was like, nah, I don't like it because I was more into fighting, kickboxing. Uh, I got injured, but after my injury, it was so bad, I couldn't do nothing. But I didn't know what else to do, you know, because my only option was fighting and I got injured, so that was like no option anymore. So the other option was bodybuilding and I had a structure for it. It was like my only option, you know, otherwise a dark bed, like a criminal, but there was no option as well, <laughs> you know, because I don't want that lifestyle to look over my back every day, you know. I went to a bodybuilding show, you know, I think I was 26 back then, and I fell in love with the show, you know, I was like, wow, I said like, next year I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to win this show, and that's what I did a year later. I came back and I won the show. So even if you are doing bad stuff, you know, and you think that's your lifestyle and your fate is different, you will still find a way to make a U-turn from that bad negative life and go to the other part, you know, that's your destiny, that's meant for you, you know. And that's what happened with me as well. 